Hello everyone, welcome back to Poppy Seed Mini. Today, we're gonna show you how to make the bedding from our Dollar Store Doll Bedroom Challenge. We'll give you some of our tips and tricks for fabric selection and sewing techniques. Stay tuned till the end to hear who won our Dollar Store Challenge. If you missed our bedroom videos, the link will be in the description box below, as well as other information and measurements from this video. All right, let's get sewing. Here is some of the fabric I picked up at the thrift store. I like to use pillow shams, pillow covers, and cottons. Starting with the mattress, take a piece of recycled foam from packaging. Cut it seven by 11 inches. Cut a piece of white cotton 14 by 18 inches. Wrap it around the foam and hot glue the top. Tuck the fabric in on the ends, pull the sides in, pull up and tuck, like wrapping a gift, then hot glue. To make the flat sheets, pillows, and pillow covers, I am using the back of a recycled pillow sham. They seem to use good quality fabric and I don't have to make the first seam. Take apart the sham. Use one of the back panels to cut out your bedding. I made two four by six inch pieces for the pillows, two four and a half by six inch for the pillow slips. Remember, this was cut on the seam. Cut one 12 and a half by 12 and a half inch for the flat sheet. This was also cut with the seam already sewn. Starting with the pillow, fold over good side in. Sew a fourth of an inch seam, leaving a space to turn it right side out. Stuff it with polyfill batting and sew shut. You can use a sewing machine, hand sew, or hot glue. I like to use hot glue. It goes fast and looks good. Take your pillow cover, fold good side in, Sew a fourth of an inch around the edge, remembering to backstitch at the start and the end. Turn and put your pillow in. Take your last piece, turn under a fourth of an inch two times and iron. Do this on the sides and sew around the edge. Remember, I am using the pillow sham that has one side already sewn. To make a comforter, cut a 14 by 14 inch piece out of the top of the pillow sham. 
This pillow sham has a beautiful design on it. Cut a 14 and a half by 14 and a half inch piece out of the back panel. Also cut a 14 and a half by 14 and a half piece of batting. Place the top and back good side to good side. Place batting on the back, pin down. The white fabric you see on this top is stabilizing fabric for the top piece. Sew so a four, one fourth inch seam around, leaving a space to turn your comforter right side out. Trim off the edge. Turn and press. Sew or hot glue the space shut. For the pillow sham, cut two five by nine and a half inch pieces of fabric and two five by four and a half inches for the batting. Fold the five by nine and inch in half, good side in. Place batting on top, pin down. Sew sides leaving a space to turn right side out. Starting on the bottom, sew a line a little over a fourth of an inch around. When you get to the bottom, add your poly fill batting and sew. I use hot glue to seal the last seam. I like to use fun fabrics for accent pillows, like this teapot fabric. Even though it's a large print, you can use small sections for fun pillows. Cut squares or rectangles. Sew around the edges a fourth of an inch, leaving a space. Turn and stuff. Seal with hot glue. Now, let's see what it looks like. Thank you for watching. We hope you learned something new today. And thank you to everyone who voted on our last videos. We've added the final votes, and it's my mom with bedroom one that has won the challenge. We hope you'll stay tuned and subscribe to our channel to see more challenges and more crafting videos from us. Don't forget to like, comment, and share. And as always, have fun crafting.